I wanted something that can rival Solana. I think I think Telos is the project. Telos, Telos, you know, I like to call it Telos. Telos, it just has a better ring to it. Telos. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing it right. Y'all know how I am about these pronunciations. There'd be so many crypto names. It's hard to keep up with the pronunciations. It's your boy Crypto Million back with another one. Telos, right? Been doing a lot of research on this lately. Um, in hopes to find the great value version of Solana. I wouldn't even call it the great value. I feel like this project can actually rival Soul, right? Um, there was Michael Jordan, and then 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 there, there, there was Kobe Bryant, right? Kobe Bryant. Some people think Kobe is better than MJ. You feel me? I feel like if we go call Soul, MJ, Telos has a good chance as as becoming the Kobe of that whole little. Uh, uh, speed, EVM, uh, you know, fast, fast. Telos is fast. It's real fast. It's actually um, the fastest, right? Fastest EVM compatible um, ecosystem in tech that is out there. And in my opinion, it's putting in that that pattern we love to see, right? Um, look like it's finally putting in that cup and handle where, you know, it, you got to start and ask yourself, is the reversal in? And you know, if the reversal is in. I feel like Telos is a project that is going to run. It's sitting at a $37 million market cap, and apparently everything was organic, right? Everything about uh, Telos here was organic. There was a fair distri uh, distribution at launch, right? So it was a fair launch, similar to Casper. People like fair launch. And um, the, e the, the the tech, the tech, we did a, uh, we did a utility and use case check, man. It, it checked out, and I feel like this project... Um, could be massive. Now it is an OG. It's an and, and it's OG. And people would argue and say, "Well, Millie, this is a older pro project." And in my opinion, that's the biggest hoax in crypto. I had to learn that myself. There will be projects, older projects, right, that just finally click on, catch on. It won't be all of them. It won't be all of them. But we are starting to see that usually the new people that come into crypto and that liquidity, that institutional money, they're gonna go with the projects that's been building over time. The developers are here. The developers are here with Telos, and they've been constantly progressing, and uh, the the tech itself has been um, growing over time. So, in, in my opinion, Telos is primed to have a crazy, crazy bull run. Um, you can see here of uh, 15,000 transactions per second compared to something like uh, Solana, which is 3,000, AVAX, which is 2,000, Polygon, 4,000, low and fixed fees, so the fees is not variable, uh, you know, when they say variable fees, so if, the, like Solana, when it was going crazy, you know, maybe the fees go up a little bit more, Ethereum, when the fees go crazy, um, when, when the chain goes crazy, the fees go up a little bit more, you already know what you're getting with Telos, very similar to how HBAR is set up, and of course, um, no front running, so, um, you know, Telos, in my opinion, has a great chance right to hit a one billion dollar market cap or more i right? you know we it's, it's i know we throw billions of dollars out there because it's crypto and it's actually a hard feature to reach right it's not easy but if you have good utility good tech um demand checks out in my opinion this project is prime right prime in my opinion um to 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 do anywhere between a 50 and 100x right the team um bullish bullish team right if we go check out the team actually i think i got it uh pulled up here what i do like about the project you can see here uh the telos team so they completely rebranded the team i think the only guy that was part of the original team is um justin um, gudici so i want to actually correct what i said on live and you see the team got an 80 out of 100 on the score said founded by experienced individuals in the blockchain technology douglas horn justin gudici and jesse schumann the team's commitment to the project and vision is evident now i don't know what happened to the original team i don't know the story if you do know the story feel free to comment um in the comments but kind of like the jasmine situation i got into it after whatever happened happened which is cool with me because for me doing my research and just going throughout those chains when we talk about speed, right? I know when, when people talk about ICP, they talk about how everything is on chain, right? But if we talk about speed, efficiency, consistency, no outages, right? This thing is faster than Solano without the outages, right? We know Solano will go out in the blackout, right? Y2K, Y2J, nothing's working. We don't have that issue or problem here with Telos. In the, what, five, four or five years, right? That's what, you know, go read the docs. Go read the docs. So, again, they're also primed to be huge in the gaming industry, right? The gaming industry. They have a chain 
that is very very gaming friendly right it's fast um the uh, the fees are low and you can actually build a good game on this chain as you can see they're rolling out k218 um zka evm gaming on chain so a lot to look forward to in 2024 uh they're coming out with their own personal gaming um I'm gaming bridge here you can go check out the article um it is um, on the twitter if you want to go check it out um they got a gaming bridge that they got um that they're um putting together so a lot of people are starting to get hype about what this project can add from a gaming standpoint um you can see here uh why would games want to be interested in it well the real world use case got an 80 out of 100 it's suitable for micro transactions due to low fees and high transactions per second addressing a significant gap in the concern um that blockchains have right its focus is on interoperability so again outside of solana this is uh has ibc technology similar to cosmos is interoperable interoperable it's seamless it's uh it can be used mo on multi-chains it's not just specifically for its own chain like how solana is um this project is evm compatible and interoperable with other chains you know what i'm saying so it's not just uh, that focus on this chain and everything is done on this chain, which I think interoperable makes everything easy. When you want to just seamlessly swap something, who wants to go through, oh, I got to buy Solana first. And then in order for me to interact with everything in Solana, I got to have Solana tokens. Why can't I just swap a token for a token? That's what people want to do. That's why I think that this project, again, stands out from something like Solana. Um, its focus is on interoperability, especially with its move on the appreciate it um, to layer zero. So they do have partnerships here um, with layer zero. You can see the partnerships with uh, MetaMask, which is going to huge. This is why, you know, there's going to be interoperability. You see the partnerships, MetaMask, Ledger, layer zero, Altur for gaming. So they're <laughs> speed make meet sta stability, right? So hyper speed transactions, um, low gas fees. Uh, no front running, um, zero downtown. Man, this is crazy. This is what we talked about. Despite hyperspeed transactions and widespread activity, uh, Telos has never experienced an unplanned outage throughout history. Never, right? Also, ESG compliant. So they're, they're checking off each box, right? And outside of something like ICP, this thing is insanely fast. <laughs> it's insanely fast. It's like... Uh, um, uh, uh, where they were talking about the uh, transaction uh, functionality uh, uh, validation instant instant right that's what you want to see that's what you want to see so um telos you can see right here uh, again we just talked about the block time and rap, rapid uh, rapid processing at only five seconds per block creation users are uninhibited by speed or continuity concerns on telos um 99 less Energy Telos is committed to ESG for a greener world, consuming 99 less energy. They did all this without VC. No VC, completely fair launch. So while everybody's talking all this smack about how it's older, I get it. But they just kept building. They never gave up. They kept going. They kept building. They rebranded the entire team. And now um, a lot of people are talking about this tech and comparing it again to, to the Solana. So... It's a lot of pump. I feel like there needs to be something that can compete with it. Why not a project that's supposed to be just as fast and technically faster without the outages? I I, I don't see why something like Telos um, can't do well. And then again, in the gaming sector, right, Telos could significantly enhance the experience by integrating blockchain technology for secure, transparent in-game transactions and digital asset management. For instance, in a multiplayer online game built on Telos, players could use the platform for fast, trustless in-game purchases. Um, traditional assets like skins or characters and securely storing these assets on the blockchain um, the integration of Telos features such as instant transaction finality and scalability would ensure smooth and efficient gameplay, fostering a more immersed and secure gaming environment. So gaming and you're utilizing AI. I know they, they got some things going on with AI technology. It's pretty much, again, checking off every box. And even if it got to AVAX current market cap, that's a 653x. To put that into perspective, it was if it was able to get to something like, uh, actually, let's go back here. Appreciate that. If it was able to get to something like, um, 
Let me see if I can actually find it. I thought I had it pulled up. But if it was able to get to something like Solana's market cap. Um, oh, not, that's AVAX again. I thought, what, what am I looking at? I was going to look at I was trying to find Solana here. Somebody had it posted on X here. Right, so if it, it was able to hit Solana's market cap, then that would be almost 1,000x, right? 1,000x. So um, it's sort of like a mid-cap, so you got to put up a bag if you think you're going something crazy, okay? Do your research. This is not financial advice. Of course, you got to put up a bag if you want, you know, to see substantial gains because it is sitting at a, a 30, a 30, what, $35 million market cap. But again, Solana is um, like in, 40, in the 40 billions. So if... A whole bunch of this is how the adoption happens for something like Telos because comparing it to Solana, right? We can actually do a comparison. Let's bring over another tab here, right? I want to compare the tokenomics because again, everything with this project seemed to have checked out, right? But we want to know why it's gonna, you know, one day reach the heights of one hundred dollars, forty-six billion dollar market cap, right? Seoul also has an in, infinite supply. And as long as people continue to use Solana at its rate, that doesn't matter, right? The inflation will be very, very, very small. But you can see there's an infinite supply. So keep that in mind. The circulating supply for Seoul is 428 million. The total supply is 565 million. Now, comparing that to Telos, you can see here uh, the circulating supply is 270 million, 64% in circulation. And the total supply is 420 million. So I believe uh, they have less... Um, less supply than solana though i will say there is less um dilution should i say with the circulating supply so we'd love to do more research on those those token unlocks and see everything but they do have multiple chains here um bnb ethereum in in also the telos and again when you th when you think about the supply it has less supply than solana so we solana was able to hit what <laughs> like almost 300 dollars in it in at its peak this thing is 13 cent, 13 cent. So when you look at the risk to your reward, you're not really putting up no risk because it's almost at the floor. The only thing you can look at with a project like this is the reward if they execute. And it just seems like everything is lining up for this project to have a very, very good bull run. Guys, I get it. It's an old project. I get it. I'm not arguing that. But I think, I think the reversal is in. And I think that this project, the people trust it. They trust the builders. They trust the developers. I think that it, it you know what I'm saying? I think that it could do, it could do well, right? Um, partnerships got an 85 out of 100. Um, collaborations with SushiSwap, multi-chain consensus, crypto punks, NFTs. Come on, man. They got they, they got some things going on with NFTs where if the NFTs come around, this is going to be huge. Pancake Swap, Unify, Signify, Strong Industry Connections. The partnerships aim to enhance network interoperability and token mobility across different blockchains, increasing the protocol's relevance and utility in broader crypto um, ecosystem. And again, we went over some of the utilities use case. They're doing some things with Layer Zero. They're doing some things with uh, Altura, Swapsicle, MetaMask, and also Ledger and Elixir. So, um, y'all let me know what y'all think about this project. The overall rating was 80 out of 100. Um, Telos shows considerable potential with its high-speed, low-cost blockchain solution, strong team, and strategic partnerships. Its focus on interoperability and scalability make it notable project in the DeFi space. However, its long-term success will depend on continuous development, marketing dynamics, and the involving blockchain industries. I think we got one. I think we got one. I think... Um, a lot of potential here. Of course, do your research, not financial advice. But I do think that this project um, could come back from the depths of the graveyard and be one of those those projects that, that has a pretty, pretty nice bull run. So y'all let me know what y'all think about Telos. I'm betting on it. How did I buy it? I bought Rap Telos on Uniswap. I bought, I bought Rap, Rap Telos on Uniswap. So um, pretty much um, bought it through MetaMask, uh, swapped it on Uniswap for the Rap telos right and they they have uh other uh the markets that you can actually get it on in fact i think that's probably the only con to the problem project right and it could be a pro too but it's an older project and we just need to know why there hasn't been a binance listing crypto.com listing or coinbase listing if those three things happen with everything that we know now 
send it to Valhalla. But we'd love to see those listings. Let me know in the comments why we haven't gotten those listings for the people that's been around for years. Um, again, um, I think I, I, I don't. You know, this is this. Is, I I don't want to call. I don't want to compare y'all to like the XRP community. But you, you know, it's, it's been around. So um, maybe maybe this time we really see where people actually start to use Telos. That's all they need. They, the, the, the the argument, right, is no big tier one exchanges and not enough dApps for a lot of people to, to, to garner that activity that it needs to be successful. So we need to see more developers and creators actually creating and utilizing the chain. So once these games start popping off, these dApps start popping off, and some tier one uh, centralized exchange lists start popping off, I think that is what this project needs to truly hit that potential. It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.